Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here with Ty Winyard in Portland, Oregon at the Nike Hoop Summit. Ty, uh, how is Portland treating you so far? Uh, it's a really nice place. Uh, the hotel we're staying at is pretty good, so that's that's really good. Uh, the scenery is really lovely. Like um, We went to the Nike HQ and we went up to the top uh, car park level and you just look out and it's just a beautiful scenic like kind of area. So I'm really loving it here. So yeah. Were you surprised when you got the call? What were your emotions when, when they told you that you're invited to play at this prestigious event? Um, I guess I was really excited. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just you're one of the younger guys, that's why I say you could still be eligible for next year and the year after too. So it's, it's kind of rare for someone so young to get a call. Yeah, I guess so, but uh, I guess I just take it in my stride and uh, go as hard as I can and uh, don't really show how young I am and try to play like they are. So, right. yeah. How do you think you fared here against the big guys, some very talented guys that you're going up against, but it seems like you've been really, really aggressive so far. Uh, I guess I've been doing pretty well. Uh, this training today, I went pretty well, but uh, I'm just trying to adapt to the American style of you know, the some American players that play American high school, some of their type of playing, like the athletic yeah. and the, the quick the quick players. So I'm just trying to adapt to that. And I think when I get to that, then I can probably start playing my own game. But uh, I'm trying to, I'm starting to get into it a little bit, uh, just getting my deep post-ups and stuff. So, yeah. How is the... Um how do you have to adjust your game? What is what is different about the way you can play here versus the way you can play against other guys your age uh, in New Zealand or against the Australians? Well, back in New Zealand, you can just jog up and down and uh, not really much much athletic players that can dunk on you and like I can just jump up and block people and stuff. Not as much effort as I have to put in here. Right. So uh, I guess playing against all these guys really makes you a lot better to be able to have to jump up there and have to sprint down the floor, sprint back and like keep up with players and it's not all just banging around like back home, it's just it's just a lot a lot different, I guess. Yeah. It's way better. A lot more more different. So yeah. sure. For people that are watching this video that might not be too familiar with you, what can you tell us about yourself as a player? Uh well I'm a some people call me the banger or banging around the lumberjack so I, I play a really solid game um, I like to bang people around I guess I like to sit hard screens uh, pick and roll pretty much anything but uh, yeah I guess I just try to use my big frame uh, I'm about 265 so I use my weight to push people around and stuff in the paint so just get deep seals uh, I don't know that's about it yeah where does that physicality come from? Is that something that you've always had since a young age? Uh, yeah, since I've been little. I've been doing athletics and stuff, and I've been sitting the record for the shot put and the discus and the long jump and stuff. So athleticism has pretty much been in my genes since day one, since my parents. My mom and dad are both world champion lumberjacks, which is where I got my lumberjack name from. So my dad, he's, uh, I think it's like 11-time world champion, and he's going over again this year for his 12th, I think. If I'm, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but I think it's his 12th, his second consecutive, which is pretty amazing to be able to win that many. So I think the genes from that is pretty good and so is my mom. Right. Yeah. What are some of the things that you're working on? What do you need to improve on to reach your full potential? I really need to improve on my conditioning right now. I can, I can notice it a lot. Like uh, I, I'm not keeping up as much as I'd like to. Uh, and then I can't jump as much as I like to, obviously, because of my conditioning and stuff. But I'm really, I don't know, I guess, work on my athleticism so I can just get in the paint and put it in the rim straight away, not muck around or anything. So, yeah, right. sweet. What about um, goals for your career? What are some things that you'd like to accomplish? Uh, this year, I'm hoping to get in the Tall Blacks again and go to Olympics, hopefully. So I'll be really pushing for that when I get home. I think trials start a week after I get home from this. So I just got to really push myself for that. That's a big goal for me. Um, heading to Kentucky, probably another big goal to play as well as I can over there. Uh, and hopefully NBA in the near future. So you're graduating high school in, in this December? What's um, so? What? How are you going to spend the time until you enroll? Are you going to join Kentucky mid-season and redshirt, or are you going to maybe go to a prep school? I mean, I guess you have a couple of different options. 
I guess I'm still thinking about it with my parents and stuff. I, I committed really early because I knew from day one where I wanted to go from uh, just how they how they approached me and everything. So I guess I'm still thinking about it. Uh, not really too sure yet. So just kind of laying low. I got a lot of time to decide it. Probably the end of the year I'll be deciding whether I'll be going or whether I'll be staying because I still don't know if I'll go 2015 or 16 yet. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be going 2016 now. Uh, just due to grades and stuff, getting my schooling done fully, and yeah. Sure. How did the contact with Kentucky come about? How did you become aware that they were interested in you, and, and how long of a recruiting process was it? Uh, I guess um, when I went to the Jordan brand, I think they had a look at me there, and I, I fouled out of the game, which is pretty bad, but I think I got a mid-range and a couple of rebounds and stuff, but I think they saw me there. And then um, the Nike All Asia camp, where I went away and I got MVP of the camp. Uh, they, um, George Raveling was there watching the, watching the trainings. And he, I think he put me onto a lot of colleges here to talk to me. But uh, I think he set it all up and stuff. And then I just kind of talked to the coaches. And I had a lot of offers come through. And I kind of sifted through them. And I just went for the top three. So I went on the three visits. And then I pretty much made it there. Kentucky is really known for producing NBA players. H how much of a role did that have in your decision-making process and any uh, sense of how long you might want to stay there? Uh, yeah, they pretty much said to me, Coach Cal said, if you come here, the number one thing we're going to work with you is pretty much to get you the NBA. He's not going to try and hold you back for another year, like possibly some coaches or something, but he's going to try and push you and get you up there as fast as he can to get you ready for the NBA, which he does with all his other, obviously, his, he's got a couple of, uh, what's it, top top 10 draft picks or something yeah. already. So I think he's got yeah. three or something yeah. projected. So that's, that's amazing for a college to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, just his program's amazing. Uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Were there any concerns about not getting playing time? Is that you know th there, that's kind of the trade-off? Is that it's the, the number one program for producing players, and they're going to probably make the Final Four every year? But are you you know that you have to share playing time? How do you feel about that? Game time really doesn't matter to me as long as every training I'm getting better. Because that's, that's all I'm really, really going there for. Obviously, game, ta game time would be really nice. But if I don't get game time, I'm not too fussed. All I'm fussed about is getting as good as I can for the NBA, which is obviously if I'm going to go there, I'm going to be getting game time. So i got to just push myself. And uh, I don't know which time length I'll be looking at. But uh, we'll just see when I get there. I guess i got another year to work on my stuff. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Taking my strides. Great stuff. Best of luck. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yep. Take care.